I've seen a lot of bike theft cases come through. A majority of the bikes that are stolen that were locked up had a cable type lock or a chain lock on them. The first lock was a uh, inexpensive, lightweight cable lock. It's thin and uh, easy to cut through. Lock number two, again, is a, uh, a cable lock. It was about twice as thick as the first one. But as you can see, uh, it's still relatively easy to cut through and quick to cut through. Lock number three was a link chain uh, with a padlock. And as you can see, it's uh, quick and easy to cut through the padlock, uh, just like it is uh, through the cable locks. The thief who's an opportunist, you know, probably wouldn't be able to steal your bike if you had a cable lock on it. But um, if there's a bike thief out and he's actively looking for bikes and he's equipped with some simple tools, your bike could be gone in a very short time. Probably be uh, up to the bike, cut the lock, and gone in about 10 seconds. Between using a cable lock or the U-lock, cable lock is easily defeated by most crooks. To defeat the U-bicycle lock, it was more than bolt cutters that we had to use to get through it. We had to use a sawzall and then an angle grinder, which did create a lot of noise and sparks, which is easily noticeable by the public. All locks are vulnerable and able to be cut through, but with the tools we had to use to get through this lock, it does bring attention and does bring a lot of noise. And this is something that most thieves aren't going to want to be carrying around. So we would encourage people to use this type of lock for their bicycles. I see fewer bikes stolen that are secured with a U-lock.